welcome back to another Create a Sim makeover video. This one is for the royal wedding of Sulani, so I'm so, so excited because this one's going to be a little bit different, and I'm so excited to focus on Princess Leilana and Lord Dean because they're just so cute, and I'm so, so excited. So if you're looking forward to this video, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and let's go ahead and make over Princess Leilana and Lord Dean. Okay, so, oh guys, I love Princess Leilana. Lana. She has got to be one of my favorites. It was good to see that a lot of people did like her or like her too or that she's one of your favorites on that poll that I did for the community post. Um, so it was really cool to see. I, I kind of figured that everyone everyone's favorite would be Amira, which is funny to me because when Amira, like when we first started with her, like she was not like the most likable person, but that's why it's just so funny to me to see all you guys, like how much you guys like her. And I think it's probably just because she has so much depth to her now um, and we had to spend so much time on her so I also want to make an effort to spend time on some of the other characters. It's kind of hard with Princess Leilana too because we saw her only as a teenager. We haven't seen her like grow up or anything whereas with Princess Amira you guys did get to see her all grow up um, but I'm excited to pay attention to some other sims too. So for Princess Leilana for her wedding dress I was looking at a lot more casual things. I was not looking at the ball gowns or anything like that. I was also looking at stuff with some embroidery or embellishments on it um, but I did want something a little bit more casual um, because I mean their wedding was going to take it's going to take place outside I was also just trying to look up some like Polynesian traditional weddings and all that uh, and I could not find a wedding dress that really matched what they were going for um, but I did I do end up adding some like um, like lays and flowers for them too so that's super exciting and as you guys can see here I did move in Lord Dean to the royal family of Sulani's household um, so he is now living with them guys they are such a good Good looking couple. Like, am I the only one who thinks that they are such a like couple goals? They look amazing together, and I'm so so excited for them because they're just going to look amazing. I'm now realizing this too. I don't know if I should give Lord Dean. I'm sure he would get some like tattoos or something like that, so I might have to think about that and do that later. We are going to have their like royal wedding ceremony. There, it's going to be outdoors. Um, it's actually going to be on the beach, and we have this really really nice setup for them as well. Um, um, and then he is going to take the mermatic kelp or he's gonna eat the mermatic kelp. Um, basically he's gonna eat the mermatic kelp and then they're going to like get married and then they're both going to like go into the water together and float off as mermaids. So I'm so excited to do that. Um, but yeah, so the wedding dresses and stuff too, I, I like that one a lot. It was just very, very low cut and I thought that was a little bit much for her, but there were like a lot of different options. I was even looking at some stuff that wasn't even like completely white, like some sort of like off white or something like that. Um, I actually do end up going with this. I think I can look at a few more things. I like made another outfit for her so I could kind of compare to, but I ended up going with the other one. And I just like, oh God, I love it so much. I love that one a lot too, but I think I love this one more. So I ended up going with this one. Um, and just like, yeah, the embellishments on it and everything looks so good. I debated putting that like fur thing that I always put on them to make them look a little bit more fancy, but it was kind of like clipping the bottom of her dress. So I ended up not doing that. I was also looking for like some floral crowns for them, but the two flower crowns I have one is either way too big or way too small and that one looked a little bit funny so I didn't end up going with that one um, but yeah like that one is meant for them when they have their hair up but I really wanted to keep her hair down for their wedding um, just because I don't know I we I feel like I put we put everybody's hair up so I wanted I wanted it to be different I wanted this wedding to just be different and it's just already so pretty and I'm so excited you guys because she's so beautiful she is so beautiful and I love her so much I was playing around with this one to what I don't I don't think I end up keeping it it just it like floats on her head like it didn't look like I don't know it didn't really fit enough uh, so we end up not actually I don't think we end up going with this at all but yeah I just try to add some of the like the island living pack it comes with like the 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 leaves on the wrist but I got custom content to where you can change like there's way more color options for that too so the wedding colors are like both like pink and, and white um, and it's just going to guys it's just going to look so so pretty and I'm so excited yeah because I think like the colors for the Willow Creek Royal Wedding were like blue and white um, and then I think for uh, Queen Nea it was just just like so colorful so it looks so good but yeah their colors are more like pink and white and I'm just oh guys I'm just so excited for the next episode the last episode had so much stuff in it oh my god guys I'm so excited for their babies and we're gonna have little baby mermaids too oh my gosh you guys I'm so excited I have no idea I've never had sims who are mermaids like have a baby so I don't know like if it tells you they're a mermaid right away or if you have to like wait for them to 
show that they're a mermaid or like because I don't think toddler babies I don't think they have I don't think they have mermaid tails because I, I don't think toddlers can go swimming so I don't think they do but like if they were in a bath or something you think that they would um, but I don't think they do and I with the children too I've never seen a child be a mermaid Ooh, this should be interesting yeah I'm gonna have to take a look at that cuz I'm not a hundred percent sure about that um, but I actually end up going with those flowers in her hair I, I have that for a lot of her outfits because it looks so so good I love it so much you guys it looks amazing so I end up going with like all the pink and everything for her I think I come back and make a few changes but I did play around with her makeup gave her some eyelashes I was debating changing her outfit for the wedding and I end up not doing it I actually because I forgot that I had a custom content tail so you guys I don't know if you saw that at the bottom um, but I ended up because right now for her I end up just like keeping her tail and stuff but I do end up changing it because I like the other one is prettier. I think you would be allowed to change your mermaid tail. Like, I feel like it's a magical power that they have that they could change colors, but I also don't want anyone to really have like the same tails, but I got this custom content tails for the, for the mermaid tails and I was like, I have to choose this. So I'm excited to also choose Dean's tails too when we get them for him. Um, so yeah, I was debating like, putting on the flower wreath thing, but it's just way too big, honestly. It does not fit. I think it's really only good for like, when Princess Lilana becomes the queen and all of that too. So yeah, it just looked funny. It just takes up the entire head and it kind of like sags down a little bit. So I ended up even not going with it. Um, but guys, I need more, more crowns or something for the men. Cause there's really not that much at all. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find some more soon. Cause there's a ton of queen crowns, princess crowns and all that. Not really any king or prince or anything. Oh my god, guys. He's so good looking. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks that? Um, but okay, so I was like debating, like I was playing around with the shirts and stuff. I was, I realized that like a lot of the shirts it either clips the lay or like the lay disappears with some of the shirts, which I did not know until then. Um, but I was debating because I did want it to be more casual. I wanted him in like white, but I wanted a little bit some like other colors too. So it takes me a while to find a good shirt that I like for him. Um, but there were some pretty good options. I don't know why I just didn't pick like the white color when I was searching for things, um, but it just, oh guys, it looks so, so good. So there was a few different options I went for him. Also for his hairstyle, I was kind of thinking because his hairstyle seems very modern to me, like all that spiky. Is, uh, so his hair might be changing too. I also have to figure out a Hawaiian name for him. So I haven't even thought about that yet. I don't really, I haven't really thought of like what would go or like if we would do something. I would kind of like to pick something with the same letter, but I don't think there's that many Hawaiian names that start with a D. They're usually like M's or H's or A's or something like that. So I'll have to figure something out for him. Um, but I just, I love him so much. I love him and Leilana. I'm so excited for babies for them. I'm so excited to see their babies. I think they're going to try for a baby right after their wedding in the next episode too. So guys, I'm so excited to do that. Um, but yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. So I, I like try to do a few things at the end uh, for Princess Leilana, but it wasn't too much. So we're gonna end this here. I hope you like their outfits. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.